What's up? This is another video, Countdown to 31, New Heights Journey, all that good fun stuff. And today, in this video, we're gonna be talking about health. And I turned 31. I think the last 30 years, 30 and a half years, it's been a continual process in regards to my health, whether that's fitness and working out, whether that's mental health, whether that's actual physical health, uh, in, in, in the body and what I've learned these past 30 years have truly impacted my life to where I am at now. And it's just been an incredible, incredible learning process. It's, it's a evolution of me to become who I am supposed to become and to become the best version of myself to New Heights is about. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about three different things in regards to health. One is mindset. And that is the most powerful thing that, it's the most powerful thing. If you have a correct mindset and correct perspective on your life when it comes to health, it affects everything in your body. So mindset and the next one is diet. Of course, we talked about food already, but diet is a huge thing as well. And then lastly, the actual working out, the exercising, the, the, the getting the heart rate up kind of things and what I do on a daily basis for that and how they all three together have helped to create who I am now and helped to take my life to new heights and how daily steps not just one big gigantic goal. It has definitely been a compound over time to help me get to where I am at, but the small little implications you do on a daily basis that have a tremendous impact over your time and into your life. So let's get started on today's video and let's talk about mindset. So when it comes to health, mindset being the most important thing. Why? Because your mind controls the rest of your body. What you hold in the mind, the body believes, and that's carried out through your life. So if you have a high stress in your mind, your body usually feels that. So what's helped me transform my life and my health has been my perspective, my mindset on all of it. So let's talk about mindset and how it can help and influence your overall health. The way I look at it is like this. You have one cheerleader, just one cheerleader, that's you. And if you had that cheerleader telling you how much you suck, how fat you are, how this is never gonna work out, how bringing up all these old things in your life of this is what they did to you, this is what happened here, you're not good enough because you failed at this point, you're not gonna have this happen to you because this, oh, you don't look good in a swimsuit, you don't look good period in any clothes, this shirt's too big for you, all this stuff. If you had that cheerleader cheering with that stuff on for you, you would feel that in your body. So one thing that I've shifted in my perspective, because I was guilty of that, I was, even when in high school, I was too skinny and I couldn't put on any muscle, you know? But now it's like, I, I went through a phase where I was like, I'm just, I'm fat, I'm getting fat. And whether it was like, I mean, what you put into your body as well has an influence of what you feel and what you think. So I was putting in like alcohol, bad, bad things, lots more than it should be experiencing. So I was really experiencing those thoughts coming up. But once I decided that one, there's nothing wrong with me, there really isn't, that started to help me like take the pressure off. There was no pressure. I didn't have to exceed my own expectations to prove anybody, to prove anything to anybody. There was just nothing wrong with me. And that's okay. Once I accepted that, I accepted that life was uncertain, which is okay too, because we're always trying to predict and move forward in certainty, which if you just accept life is uncertain, you can really open up your entire heart and your life to what is supposed to happen for you because life happens for you, not to you. So once I experienced those two things, nothing's wrong with me, life is uncertain, I started to look at myself a little bit different. And once I started to look at myself a little bit different, I started to notice that my body started to follow that the same. The way I experience it now is if there's one person, the leader, which is the mind, and all these billions of cells are the people. And if I talk bad to them and, and, and cut them down and say that they're fat or they're, this doesn't work out or you don't look good or anything like that, it's gonna pay, play effect in all the energy and the cells throughout my body. But if I switch that and say, Kyle, you look good today. You're not where you wanna be, you're not where you used to be, but you look good today and I'm proud of you. I accept you for who you are, I love you, thank you. It plays a whole different effect on your body. And that starts to overflow into your health. You can go work out for hours and hours and hours every day, every single day, and sure you'll start to get some results, but your body will start to influence your mind and then you'll become so obsessed with, I need to look this way, I need to have these perfect abs, I need to have these perfect arms, legs, butt, whatever you're thinking about. 
And then you'll be so obsessed with that image that you are trying to run away from your own image that you already have. And the image that you already have is beautiful. It's amazing. It's incredible. You are an incredible human being. You were put on this place, put on this planet for a purpose. And once you start to shift your perspective to see that, you start to look at yourself different and you start to do things differently and your body starts to respond in a whole new way, all because of the mind. So I noticed when I was always working out before I shifted this mindset, when I was always working out, sure, I would put on a little bit of weight and get stronger. I would cut down a little bit and feel, and feel like I was looking good. But I would still have such a negative aspect where it's like, Kyle, this is not good enough. Not good enough. And then those effects would just play out in other areas of my life, whether it was like friendships and relationships or work. I was just so stressed all the time because I was putting my body under immense stress. And in my mind, I was never where I wanted to be. So once I just stuck, took a step back and experienced life for what it is and accepted it and accepted myself, which is huge, my body started to respond in different ways. I started to be more relaxed. I started to be more, I started to be incredibly stronger, being able to resp uh, respond and heal quicker. My body was just doing it because I was letting those things go, which is another huge thing in my perspective is letting things go. Thoughts come from feelings. And the feelings and the negativity behind them produce the same thoughts. Thoughts are never ending. They're abundant. There's so many of them about any kind of feeling that you're thinking about or feeling about. But if you go back into that feeling and why you're feeling that, for instance, I'm not good enough. I'm, I'm, not, I'm fat. I don't look good or, or these things. I'm not where I want to be and it's never going to work out. I'm too late. These feelings all have negative energy behind them. And from that negative energy produces these negative thoughts, which is just then produces thought cycles and, and feedback loops, and then they just go into circles. But the way to get rid of those thoughts is to continually surrender these negative feelings. Once they pop up, surrender, let it go. Say that it's not true. You don't believe that. I believe, for instance, mine was like, Kyle, you're never gonna, you're never gonna cut down to be a little bit more trim. Never. And that negative energy was like, I'm not good enough. All these other things came back. It's just not my body. I'm not meant to do that, blah, blah, blah. All that negative energy. And once I just started to consciously let go of that feeling, new thoughts started to come up. Kyle, you look good today. Kyle, I'm proud of you. That was a great workout. Kyle, you're so much further than where you used to be. All these things. It's just whatever it may be, I, I switched that feeling and let go of that feeling. And then when I let go of that feeling, I started to minimize those negative thoughts about that because I was minimizing the negative energy around that feeling. And then from that started to give me an opportunity to place that with positive feelings, positive thoughts, because of the positive feelings produce positive thoughts. So that's the huge thing that I did in my health journey. There's a lot of things that we're holding on to that we haven't let go that's not allowing our body to respond in a positive way to get ourselves healthy. And it starts here. And it takes a conscious effort to do that. And sure, it takes time. It probably is harder to do a mindset and perspective shift than it is to actually go to the gym and then actually work out or get on the treadmill or do whatever. Because once you start to shift the perspective and the mindset about yourself, other things start to change. The way also I teach it and explain it to other people is if you want to do something in your life, something different, like go to the gym, you have to change your identity. And if your identity is previously like, oh, it's not good enough, I'm not good enough, I can never do this, I'm not the working out type, I don't do this. All these negative feelings are negative things of these I can'ts, it's really just an I won't. Shift that to, I am somebody who loves the gym. I am somebody who loves to walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes a day. It clears my mind. It starts to become a shift of your identity and shift of energy. So you change your identity, you change your energy, and then you change the results that come out through your life. So that's what I've been able to do. When Once I started to shift my identity to a healthy perspective and view of myself first, I started to notice that it was much easier to go to the gym and just be there and have fun. And some days, of course, it still sucks to go there, but that is a huge thing. Changing your perspective about yourself, perspective about life, and then that overflows into your overall health because it starts here. I tell myself all the time, Kyle, I love you, thank you, I accept you, and I forgive you. And that just is a whole different perspective in the more that helps me get started in the morning that plays all over my life. So that's what mindset is for me. That's what happens when it comes to health. And from that, there's so much more you can learn. It's a never ending process, a never ending evolution and growth process of yourself.
So that's that. Now that we've talked about that, let's talk about food, diet. What do I eat on a daily basis? Even though we talked about groceries, talked about that kind of food, but let's look at the actual meals. So Chef Kyle, take it away. <laughs> 